6 o'clock. Gunfire ringing out inside a Florida terminal this afternoon. Tonight, five people are dead. Eight others were hurt in that attack. Let's get you to the scene right now at the Hollywood International Airport in Fort Lauderdale. Things have quieted down, but the chaos broke out on the tarmac a few hours ago. We continue our team coverage tonight. Lindsay McComel is out at the Ford International Airport following the impact back at home. But first, we want to get to 24-hour News 8's Joe LaFergie. He has all the details about how the shooting took place. Yeah, Sue Bryan, investigators say the attacker is being questioned tonight, but we still don't know what caused him to open fire. We just learned minutes ago he was discharged from the Air National Guard last summer for unsatisfactory performance. Officials say Esteban Santiago traveled from Anchorage, Alaska to Canada with a gun in his checked luggage. He landed at the Fort Lauderdale Airport this afternoon, got his bags, then he went into a bathroom to load his weapon. When he emerged, he opened fire. After Santiago was taken into custody, false reports of a second shooter started around the airport, causing more panic. He's uh, unharmed. No law enforcement fired any shots. The subject is being interviewed by a team of FBI agents. Now, the Fort Lauderdale Airport remains shut down tonight. All flights that were headed to that area at that airport have been diverted. Now authorities are trying to piece together why Santiago, Santiago opened fire. At the live desk, Joe LaFergie, 24 Hour News 8. Thank you, Joe. Today's shooting has airports around the country reflecting on if they're ready and prepared to respond to an active shooter. 24 Hour News 8's Lindsay McComel at the Ford International Airport tonight where she met with their spokeswoman earlier today. Lindsay. Yes, yeah, and Brian, I did speak with the spokeswoman today about how they keep passengers safe. Now, I do want to show you a couple things in the baggage claim area right now. One thing she mentioned is that security cameras are all over this place, constantly surveilling and helping TSA as well as security security here keep an eye on the airport. Now, one thing, though, is the entrance just a few feet from that baggage claim, and just like the baggage claim in Fort Lauderdale, anyone can walk into this area. Now, because of that, she did say that airport security and TSA are always training and preparing for a scenario like Fort Lauderdale. They also rely on passengers reporting any suspicious behavior, even if something just seems off. They ask people to speak up because it could potentially stop something terrible from happening here. The spokeswoman says that GRR is lucky to be a safe airport overall and will continue operating as they have to keep passengers safe. But from a security standpoint, nothing has really changed for us. Our airport law enforcement officers have been in communication with the TSA. We're aware of the situation. Uh, our officers go through training on a daily basis. They go through active shooter trainings. Hopefully we never have to use that training here in Grand Rapids, but it is something that we're always prepared for. Now, Allegiant Air does have a direct flight from here to Fort Lauderdale. They did not have service down there today. They do have service there tomorrow, though, so the airport is asking if you have plans to fly to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow to make sure you're checking your flight status. Given that lockdown today, it might be impacting travel for tomorrow, so better to double-check than to get here and have your flight canceled or delayed. Live at the airport tonight, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.